now. 3T, if you remember back in the day, were one of the biggest boy bands on the block. Their album sold 3 million copies. They're back. They've reformed for the big reunion. They're going to be playing the O2 with lots of other boy bands like Five on the 2nd of November. And on the line, we have the whole band, 3T. Welcome to the show, guys. How are you keeping? We're doing well. Thank you. How are you? We're very, we're very excited here in Dublin because obviously you're coming 2nd of November for the big reunion boy band tour. We have to ask to start off with, you guys, you obviously, when you, when you broke up, I think it was about 10 years ago, you mustn't have really broken up because you're brothers. So surely you've still been seeing each other. Have you still been doing music or what's been happening? Yeah, that, that was the interesting um, with us for, in, for the big reunion was that we actually never split up. You know, we weren't allowed to because we were brothers. <laughs> right. Why did you choose to do the big reunion then? Like, what, what have you, had you seen the show or what was the reason behind it? We had friends um, from out here that had told us about the big reunion when it first aired. Um, and then uh, we got the opportunity to, to we had a couple meetings, mm-hmm. I think, with uh, come up, a couple of the producers. And um, we just dug in a bit, and you know, it was obviously for us being Jacksons, it was it was still scary to open up. Yes. But because um, we had had many reality TV show offers to do, you know, since reality TV took took off. But for us, it was we were very private, and we we weren't really safe with uh, someone just having complete access to our lives. But we saw what they did um, and how they told stories and, and how truthful they were. So we, we decided to give it a chance, and, and we were very pleased with how it turned out. Brilliant. And you're getting getting on with all the other bands, of course, because this is a joint tour. So Five are there, Blue, A1, Fifth Story. There's loads of bands involved. So are you getting on with everybody, and had you ever met any of them before? We had never met any of them before. Um, for this tour, um, Five, Blue, and 911, they're, the, um, they're from the previous year, and... We're looking forward to meeting them, but everyone else from Damage to A1 to Fifth Story, they, um, we bonded with everyone. It was, it's kind of cheesy to say, but in reality, it's true, you know. <laughs> yeah, of we're course. Boys, you know? we're, yeah, yeah. 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 And you guys were so successful back in the day. I mean, I remember everybody was a fan of you guys. Your debut album sold about three million records, I think. You played Wembley Stadium. What 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 are your um highlights for you? What was the best part possibly of being such a big pop star and being in three T back in the day? I would, you know, because even before our success, we would travel with our uncle and uncles and see the joy they would put on on people's face around the world. So it was always something we wanted to do, even as pretty much toddlers. We wanted to to do our make our impression on the on the music world and on the world. And I think for us, just you know, when anything came out, it was our first thing on, and for it to to do what it did around the world and and become such a big song for us. Right off the bat, it was just so great to see the change you're making and the impact you're making on people's lives. That That's worth everything because the industry is tough and, and it could be frustrating um, and it could be kind of ugly, but the, the fans make it worth going and, and seeing the, the response and seeing how you're, you're positively impacting their life make it all worth it. I'm loving Michael's new album, Escape. Uh, so is it nice, do you think it's good when artists that maybe have passed away and producers bring stuff that they recorded previously together and put on albums, or do you think it should just be left alone? Ooh, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, I think... <sighs> There's two I'm giving sides. you tough ones this morning. Yeah, I mean, you're <laughs> drilling us, I like. But, yeah, it, you know, there's two sides to it. You know, us as n- knowing our uncle, it's a, you know, that's a completely different answer than us appreciating our uncle's music. That's a completely, you know, mm-hmm. as fans of his music and loving his voice, it's great to hear his voice again on, you know, in airwaves and stuff like that over the air and for new fans to kind of appreciate his music. So in that aspect yes it's great but knowing our uncle and knowing how much of a perfectionist he was then there's that side of it too so it's really like a no-win situation but we're just we're really proud you know of our family and stuff like that and just in general you know him being number one in so many countries and Mm -hmm. it's just you know, it brings a smile to everyone's face. But well, obviously the, the media has been obsessed with the Jacksons for years and years. So did it ever annoy you along the way? I read one story online when you guys released a single back in the day that with Janet Jackson's nipplegate happened at some point along <laughs> the road. And every journalist, all they'd ask you about was that. Did things like that annoy you at the time? That like maybe because your family's so famous, it kind of supersedes proper questions sometimes? Yeah, yeah that, that becomes um, a bit of an annoyance because... We do work hard at what we do, and, and at the same time, we understand it comes with the territory. 
that's one of the things that we were told. You know, we're going to be grilled uh, uh, questions about them more than us at times, but um, it's part of it. Mm. Yeah, true, of course. And um, what's your favorite song to perform uh, now from back in the day? What's, what, what's your favorite tune that you guys ever did? I think we're all going to say anything because that's the one that started it off for us. And there's a lot of meaning behind it. Mm. And um, it did very well for us all around the world. Yeah, no, it was a brilliant, yeah. brilliant song. Yeah. And, and of course, I assume, assume you like it, liked uh, duetting with Michael. I mean, that must have been an experience and a half. Whatever about he being your uncle, to do an actual track with him must have been amazing, was it? It, it was, because, um, I mean, both Why and I Need You. I Need You was actually a song we didn't really care for, and he liked it so much that, you know, he urged us to do it. And then um, once we did it, he said, is, is it okay if I sing on it? And we were like, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so he came in after one session of his own, I think, recording history album. And uh, he jumped in, and, and he did his performance on that song in one take. Right. And Max Martin is a successful producer now, but at the time he was just in tears and just just loving it. So it's, our uncle, you know, he was amazing. He was one of a kind. Yeah, no, he really was. But in terms of music, was that something you were expected to do as growing up a, as a Jackson, or how did it how did it happen that you had started playing the instruments? Was it the family influence, or how did it start? I think everybody in our family has a love for music. But not everyone does it professionally. We have we have several cousins that love music, but they don't do it. Um, it's not their profession. I think um, a lot of us know what the music industry is about, and some don't want to uh, go down that path. Others, just like us, we we're very passionate about it, and um, we're the we're the ones that go for it. Okay, lads, I can't wait to see you. 2nd of November, of course, in the O2, the big yeah, Rihanna right. Boy Band Tour. Thanks a million for talking to us uh, this morning. Thank it's been you. an absolute pleasure. And um, look after you. yourselves, and we'll see you in Dublin. All right, All right. Take Actually, care. Thank before, you. before I ask, have you been to Ireland before? Before I leave, I say, have you been to Ireland before? We have not. We have none. Not to our knowledge. So yeah, you're we excited? Don't know. Honestly, honestly, that's the correct answer. So you, we don't see us in Ireland, and we didn't know. Sorry, but no. Yeah, well, so. it could have also been we were real young with our father and uncles. But I'll tell you this real quick: our uncle always spoke really highly of Ireland. Uh, he lived there for a short amount of time, and and he loved it. So we we're very excited to get there. And we're excited to see the fans. It's Especially so. Well, we can't wait to see you guys. Thanks a million for talking to us, and we'll, right. we'll, we'll see you soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye Thank bye. You. Take care. Bye bye. FM 104's entertainment show, The Juice, with Sean Monsanje.